Uh, Alexandra Galli from the Mediterranean Office of the Global Footprint Network. Thanks very much for being with us on the programme today. I mean, it's just startling this, isn't it? I mean, with the 28th of July, the year is only just over halfway through and we're at this point already. I mean, what does it actually mean for our planet? Yep, thanks for having me uh, uh, to start. Um, in the end, I would say um, Earth Overshoot Day is our red flag that the way in which we are operating the planet is uh, an unsustainable one. I mean, imagine if we were a business um, and we would have, let's say, finished the budget for the year on the 28th of July. For sure, we will not be happy. Now, what this means uh, in ecological terms is that from now on, we are building on the natural capital of the, uh, of the planet. So we are using the stock of resources and we are keeping accumulating CO2 in the atmosphere. So this is the problem. Now, what we see today is just the annual deficit. But we have been in this deficit since the beginning of 1970s. So over the past 50 years almost, we have accumulated a debt uh, with our planet that is worth 19 years of planet capacity to produce resources. You're from the Mediterranean office. I mean, there's much concern, of course, about our oceans as well, notably sea temperatures. Yes, I mean, what we know uh, from the work of several scientists and notably the MEDEC, which is the network of experts on environmental and climate change, is that the Mediterranean uh, region, the Mediterranean Sea, is one of the sea, one of the region that is most exposed to uh, warming temperature. Uh, when it comes to, to our footprint accounts, we, we see that the Mediterranean region has been in a situation of overshoot, let's say, since well before uh, 1961, which is when our uh, calculation starts. And among the main drivers in the Mediterranean region of uh, our ecological footprint is the way in which we feed ourselves, so our food systems, and then, of course, our transportation system. So these are the two main drivers uh, of the ecological footprint of Mediterranean countries. Do you think people are starting uh, perhaps to become a little bit more aware? I mean, we've had these record temperatures, notably in North America, here in Europe as well at the moment. Uh, the, the kind of temperatures that people are starting to get used to, is that starting to, to make them really realise that something has to be done and, and even to change their habits in any way? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, now it's probably two or three years in a row that we, we hear people uh, hear every day on the, on the news that this is the hottest summer that we have ever had. And this will probably be the same news for the, for the next few years, unfortunately. So I think it is starting to emerge an understanding of the problem and people are starting to connect uh, the issues that they see every day um, well, or at least they are starting to connect the increase in temperature with uh, our unsustainable lifestyle. So people are searching for alternatives. The problem is making these alternative visible and accessible uh, for them. This is why this year we have launched the idea of the power of possibility. We have collected on our website uh, really a huge set of uh, solutions that already exist and that if scaled up could help us uh, reverse overshoot day. So I think people want to, but it's a matter of one, knowing the alternatives and two, having the will to change, both personally and the political will to implement, let's say, the enabling condition for the change. So you think it's not too late then? I mean, uh, that, that figure that uh, I mentioned there at the beginning, Earth Overshoot Day being in March in the US, I mean, it, 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 it's just so frightening that, that people are starting to make that difference and, and it, it is not too late. Yeah, I know. I mean, um, oftentimes our message comes uh, across as a very damning and like negative uh, message. Um, 
I personally hate when people speak about a problem and then they say, but don't worry, we still have time to do it. Um, I think we still have time to do it, but the window of intervention we have, it's really, really a short one. And many scientists say that is in the order of five years. If we don't manage to put our acts together and start reversing the issues in the next five years, we may run the risk of uh, an irreversible destabilization of the Earth system. So there is time, but there is not much time. Good to talk to you today. Thanks very much for joining us on the programme. That's Alessandra Galli from the Mediterranean office of the Global Footprint.